We didn't drag you on here to talk about spiders. You're on here to talk about Linux and more specifically Xorg and Wayland. To my surprise, you mentioned that you're actually trying out Wayland. You're actually trying out Hyperland. Okay, so I have a FOMO mo moment going on because okay. I see all these people mess around with Hyperland and... Me. You know, I, I, I am the people. <laughs> Y y yes, you keep making videos and teasing me with all this cool stuff, and it's very rude. Can't you make an Xorg video every once in a while, Brody? Go back to awesome when we all liked you, okay? I, actually, <laughs> I do have a video that I'm planning to do about like choosing a window manager. I'm going to include both the X11 and Wayland stuff. Um, but no, I'm, I'm pretty happy on Hyperland. There's one bug I have right now, but we'll get into that a bit later. Go on with what you were saying. Okay, so... I just, so seeing all your, your videos and like everybody in my Discord uses mm -hmm. Hyperland or some kind of Wayland compositor. And I'm like, you want, so I've tried Wayland in the past. Mm -hmm. I've tried all the Wayland compositor. I've tried Gnome and KD Wayland and I always have problems. Mm -hmm. So obviously the, the, the weird thing is that Wayland's been around forever at this point. But when I started trying it first, yeah. like two years ago or so. It was basically unusable at that point because there was, wasn't very many applications that would work. And X Wayland was still basically in its infancy. Mm -hmm. So that was what I complained about then. And, and over that period of time, my complaints have just kind of transformed with it as it's gotten better. Because it does move very fast, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously being a content creator, my biggest issue has always been, you know, recording videos on Wayland. Because... Yeah. Screen capture is, or at least was, not good. I mean, you you could get it to work 50% of the time, and that was always a workaround. It felt very hacky for a long time. Like, you know something's hacky when the first step is put this environment variable into your dot .profile or, or your dot .bash RC or whatever, you know? That's, yeah. <laughs> that's not a good experience for anybody, even a nerd. You don't want to have to do that to do something, especially when you know you're going to be moving back and forth between Xorg and Wayland. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to have to deal with the, the environment variables to do that. So there was that period of time. And then eventually that got solved. But only very recently has it been a very seamless experience, mm -hmm. like within the last few months. And when I say seamless experience, I still mean kind of buggy, but mm -hmm. better. Right. So I tried it again probably three months ago. I tried... I, I tried to live on Gnome for a while. <laughs> that was not a good experience. And that has nothing to, by the way, absolutely nothing to do with Wayland. <laughs> I was going to say, is that a Gnome problem or is that a Wayland problem? Gnome is so, just not for me. I, I, don't, I always say Gnome is so bad, but Gnome is not bad. It's just absolutely 100% 100 not for me, but that's beside the point. But it got me into actually using the Wayland session of it because when you download Gnome on OpenSUSE, which is what I've been on for a while, you only get the Wayland session of Gnome unless oh, you use a that. specific version. Um, now, you can uh, if you get if you install. And that's only if you install it after the install. If you install right. it from Yast, you only get the Wayland version. Um, okay. And you know, so I was using that for a while and the the video thing started to work and i was like you want know it's time for me to look at a compositor again and for the last three months my biggest downside for it has been the fact that i could not get my monitors to go to sleep so my computer's on all the time because mm -hmm. uh, it's a file server and it, it backs up all the computers in the house overnight and I, so i need the monitors to go to sleep like i don't i, I like it to be automatic i don't have to have to you know find the button wherever the button's at i don't even know where the button's at Mm -hmm. um, so the monitors would turn off and turn right back on. And that's been my problem for the last, for, for months. Now, that's not just a Hyperland problem. That was a problem that I experienced on KDE, on, on Gnome, on Hyperland, on River. Haven't done all of them. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes on Xorx. It wasn't even really a, a Wayland problem, so I don't even know what's going on there. Uh, it wasn't until exactly today that I got it fixed. Mm -hmm. So it was literally like an hour ago where I found a, a workaround for it. So whether or not Wayland will be good for me this time, I don't know. I will say that the, the biggest reason why I keep coming back to Hyperland is because it's cool. I mean, you look at it, it's, all, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, There's a reason shiny, why it's the, uh, the it, it's, at least going by GitHub stars, the most popular Wayland composer right now. 
Yeah. If only there were more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only there were more. Yeah. No, I think I that's my it. biggest issue right now is that I wish there was more choice. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you don't want to use Hyperland Sway, kind of, but does anybody actually still use Sway? Sway, uh, Sway is popular, right? But the problem I have with the... The problem I have with core WL roots compositors is I need to have window capture. And a lot of people like doing window capture with, you know, things like Discord and all that. And with the WL roots portal, it, for like three years now, hasn't been able to do individual window capture. You can capture the entire screen. You can capture your entire desktop. But you can't capture individual windows. And that... I th that, that's one of the big things that needs to be resolved, and I don't know what the issue blocking it is. I've not properly read through the entire discussion. I need to do that at some point. Maybe I'll do it later on. Um, besides that, though, I think Sway is about as good as i3. Obviously, can like, keeping in mind the rough edges that exist right now with Wayland. But Hyperland, I think, is the most exciting. Having those animations, having the Hyperland plugin system, all of this stuff. And there's also just a lot of community excitement around just doing things with Hyperland, making it look really cool. It's an easy place to get into if you just want to mess around. Then the head developer there is just so reactive to literally everything. You mm -hmm. have a feature you want. Like someone mentioned, could you get the workspaces to work like Xmonad? Mm -hmm. Three days later, there's a patch in there for the next version to get it to work like Xmonad. What does Xmonad do like, differently? I've not used that one. Okay, so base it's you've used Qtile. Have you used Qtile? Uh, not extensively. Not enough to like, okay. have a good opinion. So if you have multiple monitors and you have your set of nine workspaces, basically what it is is that if you if you have workspace one here and workspace two there and you switch from and workspace one is the active one mm -hmm. you, and you want to go to workspace two, it'll switch workspace two to the the focus monitor. Oh. And it'll swap them. Yeah. Oh, and that's really cool. You can, you can kind of get it to Hyperland to do that now, but you have to do some really wonky key binding stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but... The, the, the the dev has basically put it in for the next version whenever that comes out. Mm -hmm. um, now I won't get it right away because I'm on OpenSUSE, but eventually, um, eventually I'll get that, and that that'll be awesome because that's really the only thing in terms of functionality wise that Hyperland for me is missing because it doesn't do workspaces quite the way that I like it to be done. Mm -hmm. um, also, we should talk about the bar situation because I hate I hate Waybar with a passion. Do okay. Uh, there are a couple of other bars that exist, but Waybar's. Once again, this is go back to what you're saying, where there's not that many options. Waybar is probably the most extensively developed option. 